What's up, YouTube? This is Simulated Greg, and today we're going to be talking about Vue.js, which is a front-end JavaScript framework. Um, uh, the main focus on Vue.js, similar to what the name entails, is it focuses on the Vue layer of your web apps. Um, it has a reactive structure, so all your data binding will be you know, up to date with your JavaScript in that two-way data binding fashion. It supports a component structure so you can divide your view layer up into different pieces and focus on certain pieces of your web app one at a time and know that they don't aren't really uh, coupled with other components so you can have that reusability. Um, now you might be thinking this is somewhat similar to React and in many ways it is, but in my opinion, Vue kind of gives you a little more direction on how you should use it uh, based on efficiency and performance in the long term, especially on larger scale apps. Um, it's very fast, in my opinion. It's, uh, it also says it's fast. <laughs> it's compact, extendable, and it's very simple to use, uh, especially with the APIs. They are um, very readable at first glance, in my opinion, and because of that, subtle direction in APIs I is kind of won me over many times over React. Um, so to say blatantly how they describe it, Vue.js is a library for building interactive web interfaces. The goal of Vue.js is to provide the benefits of reactive data binding and composable view components with an API that is simple as possible. Uh, but like I said earlier, it's not a full-blown framework. It focuses solely on the view layer. There's other things you can use for your data store and et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you're a little more experienced, like it says here, uh, feel free to check out the comparison with other frameworks. It kind of goes point by point on the differences uh, between Angular, React, Polymer, Ember, Riot, and many others, and kind of really explains why Vue.js handles the certain problems other frameworks uh, try to solve in the way um, from their perspective on how it should be done and kind of really backs it up because like you can go to any other framework and say this is how you do it but that doesn't there's not always clear documentation on why you know that's the performant way to do it especially with angular because yeah <laughs> angular was just a mess once you got larger scale but anyways uh, also, if you are really interested, I highly recommend checking out the guide. There are enormous details in this documentation with actual examples and explanations on what, what things are doing. And uh, this tutorial series is going to be pretty much an attempt to kind of explain some of the more important things and give uh, real examples. So. Let's get started with a simple data binding hello world example. So right here I got a base hello world document. It's empty. There's nothing in here except for view, which I've imported. So let's get started. I'm over here in Sublime. And since we already got view imported, um, let's go ahead and start writing the JavaScript to get view started. So we're going to save view in, an, in a variable and to uh, create a view instance, we're going to go new view and we're going to pass it an object. Now, one of the big things about Vue is um, its simplicity of its API, like I mentioned earlier. Everything about a Vue instance is essentially an object. Uh, you have a place where you store your data, where you can store your methods, your filters, and uh, basically anything that the Vue API entails is going to be in this object. So creating this VM here, we're going to be creating our base view instance. Uh, but like I said, these can actually be extended into components, which we will get into some other videos as that gets a little more complex. So one of the first keys we can throw in is a data object. And this is essentially your state, if you're familiar with React. But uh, here they call it data. So we're going to define a variable. We're going to call it message. And we're going to just give it the value of hello world. So immediately from here, as since we created the var VM, it's uh, bound to global scope of the window. So if I was to go back here, refresh, I can instantly go VM dot uh, message and see that I have defined hello world. And one thing, if you noticed, message is inside the data object, but I was still able to access it directly from the VM variable. Uh, one 
really cool thing I love about Vue is that even though your object, your base uh, view object is kind of separated into these fields where data methods that we'll get into later and other videos, there's still everything in those, I would say, categories is very is accessible from the base variable. Um, so now, since this is somewhat about, or actually is about data binding, we're going to make a an area on our DOM where we can actually bind that data. So if you're actually familiar with um, Angular, uh, the templating language that Vue uses is very similar to it. Um, but one of the first things we need to do is tell our Vue instance how we're going to actually attach this to our DOM. So another property we give it is an EL, which is short for element, and we're just going to say, hey, Go to the div tag with an ID of entry. So now view instant now this uh, view instance knows to bind itself to this div tag here, and inside here we can use the common handlebar binding. So message is defined as hello world. We're saying attach the view instance to this div, and inside this div, let's print out the message that we define. So if I save this, head back here, refresh, we have hello world. And like I said before, uh, we're able to see view message in here, but we can also, you know, change it to something else. Hello world exclamation marks. And everything is data bound internally. Like I didn't really have to do much setup. There really wasn't much work to that. And uh, one of the big reasons why I love this and to demonstrate a little bit more about the uh, actual data binding that's happening here. Let's go ahead and create an input here, type text, and we're going to use a directive uh, built into view called vModel, which is essentially ng model if you've used it and if you've had experience with Angular. So we're going to bind our data message, same variable, everything is, all three of these messages are essentially the same value, but view internally just knows to bind them all across the board in our DOM. So let's go ahead and refresh. Let's see we have hello world and I can start typing and you can see that although I'm typing in my input, my H1 is also being updated because all the data is bound with each other and I'm also checking back here. We can see that it's also bound in our JavaScript very simply and I hardly had to write any code for that, just less than, what, what is that? Six lines of code? Five lines of code? <laughs> and um, yeah, so in the next video, we're gonna go a little bit further into the API of Vue itself. We're gonna look into a markdown preview. Here's a little actual preview of it. And uh, as you can see, it's very short code to actually do this. We're using the marked library. And here is the actual preview, which I forgot to clear, but <laughs> this is a header one. We have a header two, some bold text. And yeah, so stay tuned and catch you in the next video.